there recently was an event, April 27, 2009, with Garrett Wilders uh, in South Florida for free speech. This is a continuation of that event. My name is Stephen Blaker. I am the co-chairman of the South Palm Beach County Act for America, actforamerica.org. On behalf of Brigitte Gabriel, the founder of Act for America, it is my honor to share the following message. Act for America salutes Gert Wilders and his passion for awakening the Western civilization to the overwhelming deluge of impending violence and hate threatening our shores. Thank you, Gert, from the bottom of our heart for sounding the alarm. Your life passion for the truth is an example to all of us. May our country heed your call. Right now, I would like to continue and state the following. The following is the preamble to the U.S. Constitution. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish the Constitution for the United States of America. This is the same Constitution that protects our right for free speech and general freedom to live as we wish. It is the same Constitution that countless of thousands have died in battle to defend and preserve. This is the same Constitution that forms the country where a farmer's son can become president, an immigrant can become a governor, a poor person can get a college education. It is the country where all people equally share freedom of speech and religion. This is the same Constitution that permits a mix of all peoples, of all races, and all religions to participate in a government which is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. It is a constitution of freedom. It is a freedom to live as we wish and to follow the pursuit of happiness so long as we bring no harm to others. This constitution put in place by our forefathers to allow all of us to be both happy and free is under jihad. As in the past, the Constitution can be attacked and destroyed by those who are against freedom if only one thing happens. The one thing is for good men to do nothing. With the 1930s formation 
of the German Third Reich, Arthur Neville Chamberlain and other good men did nothing. The Third Reich attacked Europe and then the Western world. Millions died. Radical Islamists participated in that assault on the free world side by side with the Nazis. Now this heartless and cruel threat attacks our democracy, only this time it is not the Third Right, it is the Third Jihad. It is again those radical Islamists that once allowed themselves with Adolf Hitler that are again attacking virtually all the free world. If once again good men do nothing, then once again millions of people will either die or become converted to Islam. Thousands have already died inside the United States and many more thousands abroad. As a nation, politics must be put aside. And all free people must join together so that we can stand united as one. My father would tell me as a boy, more powerful than the will to win is the courage to begin. This war is underway right now, and good men must respond to it right now.